So today's question is, is enlightenment merging one's individual consciousness with universal consciousness? And if so, why is this experienced as bliss? It may feel that way, but once you dissolve into the infinite sea of consciousness, you realize that you have always been this. You have never been an individual consciousness or personality. You have always been this oneness. You have always been this emptiness. You realize that, you, that there is only one mind, one consciousness, one creator, one being. That one is expressing itself in countless forms. A fairly decent metaphor would be the light from a movie projector in a movie theater. All the images on the screen are from one source. They may appear as individual actors and props, but they are all made of the exact same light. Now imagine an infinite projector projecting an entire universe of holograms, all simultaneously. Whoa! One source, one light, one consciousness, one being, being everything. No matter how real the holograms appear, they are still projections of that one light. No matter how real time and space appear, they are still just projections of that one consciousness, that one awareness, that one creator. Why does it feel like bliss? Well, that is the human being's experience and interpretation of what the creator feels like what the infinite sea of awareness feels like, what emptiness feels like. It's just a term we use because it's impossible to really describe what it feels like to dissolve into emptiness. The words joy, bliss, happiness, love, peace, and other descriptors do not even come close to what infinite consciousness feels like. The experience is so far beyond any human experience of bliss that it's overwhelming and indescribable. So bliss is as close as one can come in English. Sometimes I call it transcendent bliss, but that too is just a very limited description. I could call it bliss multiplied by a million times, but that takes too long to say and to write, and it's still limited. The bliss we experience when dissolved into infinite consciousness is infinite. There is always more, and there are no boundaries or limits. I have posted many articles and practices about enlightenment at my blog at lifesanswers.org. You are most welcome to read more there and to try some of the other meditations. I promise this is within your realm of experience because this is who you are right this moment. It's not some far off reaching thing that you can't really accomplish or that very, very, very few people accomplish. You can, you can do this. It just takes courage, it takes the willingness to surrender and give up everything. And if you do that, you'll experience enlightenment. There's nothing harmful about it. You won't go insane, you won't die. It'll just sometimes feel like that. But you'll be fine. Better than fine. I promise. So for now, take care.